Hello! Today we are having a loot crate. Here you can see it. And uh, this is the loot crate for February. Uh, it is themed uh, games that we play. So in this loot crate, first we are seeing a crate packing simulator. We're going to have a closer look at that later, of course. Uh, when I finished unpacking the crate. And the first thing we are having is a Money World um, thing. You can apparently paint uh, this little figure. Uh, let's just open it up and see. So in here we have a little figure uh, with a big head and uh, you also get three pens uh, that you can use to paint your little figure. So the next item that we have is a little pouch, it's a kind of black velvet pouch and in this pouch we have two dice On those dice we have uh, symbols, if you can see it, uh, one is a hand uh, with five fingers stretched out and one is a uh, hand with two fingers. This is for apparently rock, paper, scissors. One person gets the white die and the other person gets the black die and you roll the die and whatever symbol you get is uh, yeah, either rock, paper or scissors. The next item that we have in our box is a card game. It is called Super Fight. It is the Loot Crate deck. And uh, let's just open it up and have a look. What... So we have our Super Fight deck and we have a couple of purple and blue and black cards and white cards. Each player chooses one white card and one black card from their hand to create a fighter and places those cards face down. Then they discard the remaining cards into two separate piles, one for characters, one for attributes. Next, both players turn over their cards and reveal their fighters. Each player then draws a random black card from the deck and adds it to their fighter. Both players argue and plead their cases about why their fighter would win the fight. Once the arguing is done, the table votes for a winner. You can have, for example, a Yeti. And his attribute is uh, he can fly, but only at the speed of molasses. So if this fighter is uh, useful, then you win. Our next item from the box is a tube, and it is apparently a poster. Okay. It is a Pac-Man poster. The next item in the box is a hex bug, it is an ant. Okay, so the on off switch is at the back. And the last real item in our box is a book. It is called Ready Player One. It is about a teenager who gets uh, transported into a virtual world that is known as Oasis and he has to fight his way uh, through his adventures there. Okay. 
Next, we have a code for the game Firefly Online. If you want to redeem the code, here it is. It is Overland. You have to register on the website and then you can redeem the code. Overland. Next, we have uh, Play, the Loot Crate magazine. In this little leaflet, uh, we have a feature about the history of game controllers. And we also have information about how to enter the money design contest. We also have some little push out uh, figures uh, and coins uh, for our loot crate, crate packing simulator, uh, which we are going to have a look at now. I forgot one thing, there is also a loot crate button in this box. Okay, now in this box, as you can see, we have the game board and you can just unwrap the box and you're going to have your game board ready. Okay, apparently you need those die, uh, dice for this game. Crate Packing Simulator 2015. Game instructions. Welcome to Loot Crate's first original board game. The goal is simple. Be the first player to have all five items in your crate. You can have the items T-shirt, 8-bit glasses, Funko, poster and a button. The items for the game are those little round push-out buttons that you can find at the back of the Loot Crate magazine. Use the rock, paper, scissors dice to decide Use the rock, paper, scissors dice to decide whom will make the first move. Once a first player is chosen, continue to use the rock, paper, scissors dice with these numerical values as, uh, to move your game token. So you can see the fist has a value of 1, the scissors has a value of 2, and the paper has a value of 3. If you land on a star, you can pick one item if you land on a circle, you will have to battle your dice against another player to steal one of his items. Be careful, if they win the dice battle, they get one of your items. As you can see, the game board has uh, boxes for the four players. And uh, you have to follow uh, from the start in the direction of the arrow. And uh, as I explained, you, when you land on a star, you can pick one item. And when you land on a circle, you have to battle against another player. The first player to get all items in his or her crate is the winner. So that is all for this month's Loot Crate. Uh, thank you for watching and bye-bye.